Hey everyone, so I'm back again with another video. This time around I have another entry in my quest for Digimon. I happen to find a couple of figures here that... I've been looking for some time to find these specific ones. And sadly they're not in the best of shape. Uh, they're both the exact same figure but with different parts missing on them. But neither of them have enough parts to make up a whole one so... That kind of sucks, but at least I didn't pay too much for these. I knew what I was getting immediately, so I tried to get the best deal possible for what was there. Uh, while I was at the store, I got these from Buy and Sell Kings. Uh, they also had in this bin of random toys, I was looking through it, uh, they had a couple of pieces from different figures that I went ahead and grabbed as well. Uh, some of them I knew that they were definitely from Digimon, some of them I have no idea. Some of them I assumed that they were from things that looked familiar, but uh, it turned out to be from other things altogether. Uh, but these uh, few pieces, I suppose, uh, were all free. I buy a bunch of stuff there, so they didn't really care if I, if I grabbed these few pieces uh, out of this bin. Because usually the figures and toys and stuff that are in this bin are about a dollar each. Uh, but these were just bits and pieces, so they really didn't care. Uh, out of this bin in the past, I've pulled out a couple of very, very incomplete uh, Digimon figures. So I thought I'd look around again see if I find anything else. Uh, first, I see these two here. And at first, I thought that they might be part of uh, Mega Kabuterimon's legs. And then I remembered that these are actually half of Waspinator's legs. Uh, the Transmetal Waspinator, I believe, if I remember correctly. Because uh, I had this uh, when I was a kid. I still have it, uh, not in the best of shape, but I had it as a kid and it sort of hit me after the fact that that is what these want to. Uh, also, in the bin, I found this robot arm and I was trying to place it for the longest time and as I'm leaving the store it kind of hit me that this was actually I forget which of the characters is which but it's either Hack or Slash's arm from Reboot uh, they were twin robots uh, one was blue one was red but I forget which one the blue one is and which one the red one is uh, so again made a mistake on on that one couldn't quite uh, pick that out. Uh, now the next three items I honestly can't even tell uh, what these go to they just looked vaguely familiar so I grabbed them anyways. There's this portion of a leg if any of you can recognize that and it has this like red blade thing that comes out of it and just sticks straight out of the bottom of the heel. There was also this what looks to be some kind of shin slash ankle guard kind of piece. And then there was also this piece here that looks like it's part of a weapon maybe. But I honestly can't tell what it is. Just the uh, gold chrome thing sort of uh, caught my gaze. And I thought it looked like something familiar. So I grabbed that as well. But these next... Uh, four pieces here. I know they definitely uh, belong to Digimon figures, so I was definitely going to grab these ones. Uh, first is Piedmon's left arm with one of his swords, or I should say long daggers, uh, but that's it right there. There's also this wing that definitely 100% looks like a Digimon wing, but uh, but it looks like it can belong to a couple of different uh, sort of dragon-shaped Digimon. So I'm not too entirely certain which one that would go with. Now, the next uh, item here, actually, I recognize this almost immediately. It's from a figure that I don't even own, um, and I've never owned it. But I have a variant of this figure. It's one of the shoulder pads for the Warp Digivolving Agumon, uh, from Agumon to Warp Greymon, Warp Greymon, War Greymon, 
but this one here was for the uh, gold chrome version of uh, that toy uh, because there was also a black uh, War Greymon and just regular War Greymon. Uh, there was also a gold chrome version that had that as one of its shoulder pads. And then the last of these little items that I found in this bin actually does help me out because it does go with uh, another figure that I had pulled out of this bin. It's actually the second half of uh, Angemon's staff. I have the other half of it that I actually pulled out of this bin, but while I was looking in this bin the last time, I couldn't find this at all, so I have no idea if maybe they threw it in after the fact, uh, or if it was always in the bin and I just missed out on it. So now at least I have another complete uh, Angemon staff. Uh, and pretty much the reason why I'm making this video here is for these two figures. They're not in the best of shape, but they are some pretty awesome figures. Uh, they are both the Digivolving figures for, uh, Magna Angemon to Seraphimon. So, I have one on sort of each side, but again, there's lots of pieces missing to these, so that kind of sucks. But that is them right there. Obviously, uh, this one here is missing the left arm, very integral to that. Uh, but this one here does have all four of the arms. It's just missing the sort of uh, translucent purple shield that goes on the arm there. It's missing the wings, and it's also missing uh, Magna Angemon's uh, visor as well as a couple of little accent pieces and like I said mainly his wings are missing from that which kind of sucks but oh well at least there's a decent amount of him present in this figure so I was very happy to see these and they had them priced at five dollars each uh, thinking that they were Digimon figures, uh, sorry not Digimon figures what am I saying they thought that they were uh, Yu-Gi-Oh figures, and next to them they had a whole bunch of other Yu-Gi-Oh figures as well. But I saw these there, and I knew if they weren't expensive, I'd have to get them. And they ended up, like I said, being $5 a piece. Uh, I asked if I could get them for $4 each, and uh, he was fine with that, so I went ahead and paid $4 each for them, uh, which isn't the best deal all things considered because it is missing a lot to it they're both missing a lot but you don't come across these things that often and whatever condition I can get them in um, who knows if maybe in the future I'll be able to find more pieces or more versions of the same figure and be able to piece things together just who knows really but was very happy to find what I did end up finding uh, but yep, that's what I got uh, for this video. As always, leave comments in the comment section below. Anything you'd like to say, comments, questions, suggestions, ideas, anything at all, and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Check out my Facebook, Twitter, and website. They're all linked in the description below, and also linked in the description below is a link to my 500 subscribers contest. Please check that out as well. And that's it. See ya.